Hi guys, welcome to Off the Tenth Beer Reviews. My name is Chris, and today we're going to do a beer from a brewery I've never had before. Well, I've had, but never reviewed on the channel. Well, I guess we're going to get to that right now. Uh, from Brock Street Brewing out of Whitby, Ontario, we're going to take a look at this stout. This is the Milk Chocolate Stout from these guys. Um, yeah, this one's coming in at 5.5% alcohol by volume. It's in a 473 milliliter can. Um, I don't know what else to say on this one. It says the most refreshing street in Canada. Whitby. All right, fine. We're in, we're in Whitby, Ontario. Um, let me see what we've got here. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, yeast, and some sugars or lactose. So let's get into this beer. Uh, how old is this beer? I wanted to actually check the date on this one. Um, can't tell because it's in some certain code and I don't have time for that shit. All right, let's get into this beer. The can is kind of sticky. I know it sounds gross. All right, she's pouring off pretty thin. It's thin already. I can see it right through that. It's going to probably come off pitch black on camera. But let's take a look at this beer. Okay, like I said, it's coming off black on camera. Oh, they can see my monitor in the glass there with my car. That's pretty funny. Um, other than that, yeah, it's, oh, it's not totally black. I got a little bit of brown or see-through brown or whatever you want to call it, dark brown coming through the bottom. Let's take a smell. Actually, no, let's take a look at this, actually. Um, I did, what did I do yesterday? Oh, I did the sweet spot. It's, the can's fucking still here. Sweet spot. That's, uh, I had a darker mocha colored head on. This one's a little bit lighter in color. It's not, it's off white. It's not, it's not anything like bright white or anything like that. It's got a good... Good big bubbles on there, big condensed bubbles. The craters are being put into this. You can see a little bit of craters action happening in the in the head there. I'm gonna smell it. Okay, this actually smells exactly like a generic milk stout. Nothing fancy on this one. A little bit of a roastiness on this one. A little hint of chocolate on there. Lactose is actually this 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 one's giving me. Because of the lactose, I think I'm picking up a little bit of a metallic scent to this one. Which I am actually as it's as it's sitting here dissipating. I'm picking up a little bit of a chocolate scent on this one as well. So I want to try this one. Cheers, guys. Okay. Wow. On the can it says it's a it's a chocolate or uh, yeah, not a chocolate. It is a milk chocolate stout. So yeah, it's got everything in the taste that I thought I was gonna get. That I got on the nose. Fuck, I'm butchering this review already. This one says it's what it is in the can, and it's actually in the glass, and it tastes really good. The other one, that sweet spot from Left Field Brewing, mocha marshmallow stout. Not really. Didn't it didn't have it. But uh, this one, this one's pretty good actually. I'm not. I'm not gonna complain about this one. I'm glad I'm reviewing this one because I was a little bit hesitant on doing the Brock Street stuff because I've had their beers at beer festivals and stuff like that. I wasn't a huge fan, but this one's this one's pretty good. Mouthfeel on this one's a little bit thin. It's uh, it's approaching medium body. Maybe maybe in the low end of medium at 5.5 percent. You kind of expect that. It's a session stout, I guess you want to call it. It's a light stout. Yeah, okay. The body's okay. It's 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 nothing to fucking write home about, but. What's important here is the actual taste on this beer. Chocolate or milk chocolate stout, you're, they've nailed it on this one. I wish this one had a bigger body and I wish I had another can to eventually physics one of these things. If I get the physics up and running again, I'll probably buy another can just to check this one out through the physics because I think that would do a huge amount of good for this one, especially if this was nitroed, this would be awesome. Anyway, I'm going off track here. Taste on this one, you're getting that chocolate. The chocolate's in there, and it's pro it's pretty much the first thing you're picking up is the chocolate right off the hop. It's giving me a little bit of sticky lips on this one, which is nice. And then after the chocolate comes in, you pick it up with that lactose. That lactose is kicking in a little bit of the sugar, I, and, and that metallic scent that I had on it, it's not really in the taste, but now I'm picking up a little bit of a vanilla kind of a taste to it because of that lactose. And the coffee roastiness, it's all through there. It's its throughout the entire beer from, from start to finish. This is not sweet at all. It has a good, it has a good, um, 
it's not super dry finish on this one, but it's a dry enough finish that it keeps you coming back for more. And actually, I really enjoy this beer. I'm actually quite surprised. Well, you know what? Maybe uh, maybe this is the, uh, what did they say? The, the most refreshing street in Canada. Maybe it is. Who knows? Well, anyway, guys, my review is done of uh, Brock Street Brewing's Milk, Stout, Milk Chocolate Stout. I don't know why I'm fucking butchering the name of this beer. It's not fucking like it's anything exciting. I like this one. Actually, I would totally buy this one again. Out of 10, I'm going to give this one a straight up 8 out of 10. I really enjoy this beer. And you know what? If you guys haven't had this one, go check it out. It's actually surprisingly a really good milk chocolate stout. Anyway, I'm done, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, I burped on camera. Oh, my God. Peace out. Bye-bye.